The Delta variant of the coronavirus is now spreading rapidly and responsible for 83% of new COVID cases in the U.S. And a new study suggests the Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine may not be as effective in fighting that variant. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez sorts it all out. The J&J &J vaccine has been given to more than 13 million people, many of whom have always been somewhat anxious about whether they're as protected against the Delta or Lambda variants as the people who received the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. Earlier this month, J&J &J said that two of its studies found that their vaccine did protect against Delta even eight months after inoculation. But now a new study posted to an online preprint site meaning it has not yet been peer-reviewed for publication in a scientific journal, may disagree. That NYU study looked at antibodies in blood samples and found that the level of neutralizing antibodies against Delta variants was much lower in people immunized with the J&J &J vaccine compared to the Moderna or Pfizer. But the way you know a vaccine works is in the real world. If there were more breakthroughs with J&J &J than Pfizer or Moderna, there's an issue with the J&J &J vaccine, but we're not seeing that. I spoke exclusively with a senior author of the NYU study who agreed that there have not been significant breakthrough infections in those vaccinated with J&J. &J. I think people that have gotten the J&J &J vaccine, I think they can feel fine. They've gotten a highly effective vaccine, uh, it's, it's safe, it's tolerable, it's an important part of our armamentarium. What's not yet clear is whether J&J &J vaccinated people would do better with a booster and whether that booster could be a Moderna or Pfizer shot, a kind of mix and match approach. There is some data, however, not yet published, not yet peer reviewed, from the UK that suggests that mixing and matching is not only safe, but actually produces a much stronger immune response. Now, we won't know about that for sure until the data are submitted and peer reviewed, hopefully pretty soon. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And Dr. Max also says that NIH-funded mix-and-match studies are currently being done at a variety of medical centers, including NYU. In the meantime, all of the available vaccines provide good protection, he says, against the present variants.